So this is one of the um, picturing medicine diagrams we're going to go through now and um, it's one of a great variety of diagrams which are available through the picturing medicine iPhone app. Um, this one is covering the causes of uh, delirium and as with all of the diagrams the best thing to do is to view the diagram with the labels removed to create a strong peculiar and visually quite stark uh, aid memoir to help with recall of all of these different causes. So delirium um, is a condition which is associated with um, confusion and disorientation. It's also termed or called uh, the acute confusional state and there are a great variety of different potential causes for this condition. Um, more commonly it affects elderly patients. It's actually quite common in hospital um, delirium and it can affect people in ITU as well quite commonly. Um, some people are at slightly more or oh, slightly higher risk of developing it and as I've said elderly, pa patients with some degree of dementia, um, patients who have got problems with alcohol or drug addiction and those with perhaps impaired visual or auditory sen uh, senses. But if we get, go through this diagram, starting sort of from the top, you can see that there are problems affecting the brain, and that could be a physical trauma to the brain. You've got a hammer there to prompt uh, you to think of that. Um, inflammation around the brain, um, meningitis, um, encephalitis, problems with space occupying lesions, bleeding around the bla uh, brain as well can be a cause. Um, so, for example, subdural hematomas. Epilepsy, you can see illustrated here, can be associated with acute confusional states uh, as well. Uh, moving down, we've got some tablets and medications um, in this person's hand, and up here we've got some electrolytes to consider. Um, raised uh, calcium, sodium, uh, and magnesium in particular are associated with acute confusion. Um, this uh, top right hand corner is a supposed to symbolize the moon and night time because acute confusion is more common at night uh, and patients typically can have an altered sleep-wake uh, cy cycle as it were. This central organ is supposed to represent a thyroid gland and both overactive and underactive uh, thyroid uh, gland function can be associated with confusion or acute confusional states so hyper or hypothyroidism. Bacteria over here um, remind us of septicemia and other forms of infection actually, so chest infections for example, which often affect the lower lobes of the, of the lung, can be associated with confusion. Urinary tract infections are commonly associated with confusion, especially in elderly patients. Any cause of uh, hypoxia or raised carbon dioxide blood levels can lead to confusion and we've got lungs here with uh, what's illustrating a PE or pulmonary embolus and then pathology affecting the heart so cardiac pathology, myocardial infarction, heart failure for example all of these conditions can lead to uh, low blood uh, oxygen levels, hypoxia leading to confusion. Organ failure so for example liver failure, uh, renal failure um, these conditions can consequently lead to delirium as well. We've touched on metabolic, uh, I beg your pardon, we've touched on endocrine disorders affecting the thyroid but also those affecting the adrenal glands so you've got over or under underactive um, uh, conditions of the adrenal gland such as um, Addison's and Cushing's disease and they can cause confusion as well. A, th a thermometer on this left hand side remind us, reminds us that hyper and hypothermia, so changes in temperature can lead to confusion. This pint glass on the right reminds us of alcoholism and in particular alcohol withdrawal. This red blood cell reminds us of anemia as a potential cause. Even things such as constipation which has been illustrated here can lead to confusion pain or any form of stress, so a hip fracture for example, very common in elderly, can actually precipitate uh, confusion and um, patients who are post-op or those who have had surgery 
uh, can also experience um, confusion frequently. Uh, low blood sugar levels is something to consider and patients who've been catheterized as well. All of these are potential causes of acute confusional states. So one must try to think around all of these potential causes and if we show the labels on the diagram you can see how um, you can obviously reference that if you need to uh, to remind yourself of what all these illustrations mean but I would encourage you to remove the labels and to use this image to try and remember test yourself and recall all the potential explanations for a patient who is confu acutely confused